Chad, what was the uh, the theory I threw out there a few weeks ago about Bronny and LeBron? That they're going to play together? Because he's, well, not just that, but he's not a draftable player currently, but he entered the NBA draft. Now, he has the option to go back, right, and play somewhere after entering the portal as well. But I said that if this was, if this was ever a time for Bronny James to enter the draft and LeBron to have some pull on his team drafting Bronny so he could play with his son. This is the year to do it because there's really no threat of another team wanting to invest a first or second round pick on him, right? Yeah. The Lakers are reportedly buying into the idea of Bronny James being a Laker and playing with LeBron and drafting him, per reports. Uh, this through The Athletic. Team sources say the Lakers are open to the prospect of helping LeBron fulfill his dream of playing with his son, Bronny James, by potentially drafting him in June. Um, this is just a pitch to keep LeBron committed to the Lakers instead of entering free agency and doing some things that he could contractually do year to year. Um, they want him to finish as a Los Angeles Laker. And they feel like in order to do that, the sales pitch is going to be, we're going to get Bronny here. How about that? The player. I've, I've, we've long said, LeBron, there are uh, a handful, not even a handful, even some of these some of these players that don't deserve to be listed in the same breath as Kevin Durant or LeBron James or, or Giannis or whoever, um, they're more or less the coach and general manager, right? Well, and they, they, if, the, if, you're, if you're not in with the star player of your team and you're a coach, you're fired. I, I and don't, in this case, he's also the, the lead scout bringing in his son. That's how it's going to be viewed. I mean, this isn't... This isn't Reggie Miller at the end of his tenure with the Pacers, or this isn't Ted Williams at the end of his time with the Red Sox, or Derek Jeter at the end of his time with the Yankees. Why are the Lakers bending over backwards <clears throat> to help LeBron James play with his son? I, I don't – was that COVID bubble 2020 championship that important to you that he helped you with? Like, what, what has he done as a Laker that warrants him getting this, like, professor emeritus status with the organization and the team that, yeah, we'll draft your son who wasn't good enough to be a good college player to be on the Lakers. We'll, we'll use that draft pick to help you out so you can play one year with your son, then retire, or maybe two. I, I don't understand that. You've got Darvin Ham basically on his way out. He's going to get fired. You know, you, saying an anonymous starter for the Lakers was a big problem without naming the name. And I, I'm thinking, this is your leader. Like, this is, this is the guy you've anointed the Messiah of your organization. And I, I'm sorry, I don't think Lakers when I think of LeBron James. Right, right when I think about it. I think Cleveland Cavs and I think Miami Heat before the Lakers. I, I just This is the organization of Magic Johnson and Kobe Bryant. Well, what they And they're treating LeBron James like one of those guys. He's not to that team. Well, but he is to players that would make that team better for the future. If you're trying to load up and then LeBron retires, but you end up with other players under contract that want to join at the end of LeBron's career to go win a title with him, which I mean, again. But uh, I mean, how's that the, worked out since 2020? Well, that they haven't necessarily I mean, they, they haven't hit on it, but they've been bringing in players that they, I mean, they've been bringing in star players, just not the right ones. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what star player right now at LeBron at 40 is thinking, yeah, I want to go there and, and, you know, play with LeBron at 40 years old. I, I just, I, I, and plus Jeannie Buss I, is very I understand. I don't want to make this like, well, yeah, LeBron suck. It's not that he sucks. Right. He's one of the greatest players of all time in the history of the game. My confusion with this is he's not a Lakers great. He's an NBA great that's finishing out his career with the Lakers that happened to win one, quite frankly, fairly bogus championship while they played in a bubble in 2020 that no one watched. Is that worthy of all of this special treatment for LeBron James? We are going to draft a son who's clearly not ready to be in the NBA to be on the team to fulfill some lifelong fantasy of LeBron James to play with his son. I don't understand why they continue to do that. If he's won multiple titles and he's still at the top of his game and all that, yeah. I mean, you're probably going to do whatever you can to make this guy as a lifelong Laker and a Laker great 
and here we go. He finished 13th in scoring this season, which is, I mean, dude's practically 40 years old. Yeah. Um, you know, he's averaging more than Kawhi Leonard or Jalen Brown, so Paul George. I'm just going through some of the names. Again, all of these guys that are old and are, are, are young stars, but not to the level of the recognition. And it's also the, the Lakers, right? It's the Lake Show. It's, it's the pomp and circumstance of it. Which is why I don't know why they go out of their way to treat LeBron this way. It's the organization well, of Kareem and Magic sure. and Kobe but, and Shaq. But the I league is the, is the association of LeBron James currently. Well, that's not getting them very far. Well, I mean, right now you have Peyton Manning with Omaha Productions, and then you have LeBron doing his thing, right? Yeah, I, I just look if if in, Kobe in if, Hollywood, if Kobe Bryant, you know, hypothetically had a son that played one year in, in college, and you were going to draft, and they're around the you know that age, yep. where you're going to help Kobe Bryant out. I, I get that. If you're the Lakers organization, I just don't understand it specifically with the Lakers and and, Kobe, well, and, and I, I think, LeBron James. I think just just dumbing it down, bare bones. And I think Jeannie Buss and LeBron are close. They're tight. And I think that's why the genie bus is going to make sure that he remains there and not, I mean, they, they, the Warriors tried to trade for him. The Warriors thought it was going to help them. Well, the Lakers need to get back to having smart basketball people run the operation with that Lakers name and the mystique with the Lakers. You're going to get good players and free agents interested in being a Laker. Oh yeah. So I, it's not, we, we did think this isn't rocket science. I just don't, I don't see where, appeasing LeBron James is helping them win championships. And Magic Johnson is saying this, by the way. He's all over X posting about how they need a new direction. Basically saying it ain't LeBron that, that the direction needs to be as the leader of the organization. Well, they tried to put that they behind need to get tougher. Anthony Davis, though. Yeah. Well, he said it's pretty clear they're not tough enough is the way he described it with their losses to Denver in back-to-back uh, years. Well, well, and they've lost how many consecutive games? To the the Nuggets, it's like fifteen or it's fifteen to seventeen straight games now to Denver, with uh, without a victory. So, or it was through the through the uh, start of the postseason. So it's not looking good for the for the Lake Show. Yeah, I don't. They're, I just don't, I don't understand uh, the love. Did you see the mayor's text or the tweet? No, Mayor of Los Angeles. Let me pull this up. By the way, uh, I'm talking about how the NBA business isn't great right now. But apparently it's okay because NBC is willing to pay $2.5 billion. They're going to double their... For the rights to the NBA, which shocks me when I, when I hear this. Bring that on for just from the, because the John Tesh theme. Yeah, yeah. Which right now is on... Uh, uh, it's with Fox. Fox uses FS1. that theme yeah, for college basketball, for Big East basketball. So more or less, and I took a screenshot of this, and of course it's not coming straight up for me. Um, the mayor of Los Angeles t- legitimately posted, hey, uh, tough loss for us, for, for our Lakers, but hey, at least we won the in-season tournament. That was her text or her tweet to X. At least we won the in-season tournament. Yeah. I mean, as like some pat on the back. That's the, I uh, hope that was sarcasm no, uh, from the mayor. It was not. I hope that was uh, tongue-in-cheek. Davey, you're looking at right now? Uh, Mayor Karen Bass. And let's see. It did the same thing it did for you. Uh, this would have been. Well, the heat is uh, knocking out our internet, apparently. <laughs> My bunch struggling, too. It'll, it'll come to me in just a second. So, Mayor yeah. Karen Bass. Mayor Karen. Mayor is Karen. A, is a great name. Tweeted, quote, at least we won the in-season tournament. Following the Lakers. Here it is right here. Thank you, guys. Uh, Tough season, but at least we won the in-season tournament. Proud of our team at Lakers. That's not. I mean, that is that is someone that is really pushing for re-election. She's like, everybody in my district are Lakers apologists, and I really need those votes. Is that what uh, is that what Kamala Harris was doing? Let's celebrate the positive. What Kamala Harris was doing too. Let's celebrate the positive. What is it? Drew Barrymore said to Kamala Harris, "We need a big Mamala hug (laughs) in America." (laughs) This is the equivalent on X of a Mamala hug. From Mayor Karen Bass. Or, or this hug Tough season, here. but at least we won the in-season tournament. Proud of our team. Come on. Yeah. And she, also, she didn't write that. Oh, um, she deletes the tweet, too, by the yeah, way. Yeah, some handler wrote it who knows nothing about sports, who just probably, like, wikipedia the 24 season. 
after getting slammed by fans for her and, tweet. And, Bass, show, and saw the, the record and said, oh, they won the end season tournament. I can talk about that. After getting slammed by fans for her tweet, Bass tried again by writing, you left it all on the floor. Thank you, Lakers. Oh, no. However, fans still criticize her for her first post. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but see, that's what I want from Lakers fans. Yeah. Like, go nuts well, about how dumb that post is uh, and stop not, bending over backwards for LeBron James. But, but like, you just, are the one of the two preeminent franchises in the NBA. It's you and the Celtics. Like, you are, that's the rivalry. You are about championships and substance with the style and flash of Hollywood. So why the hell are we drafting this kid who's not any good? Because his dad once was a great player. It's his dream. And now is a, a guy who's sort of limping his way out of the league that can't lead us past the first round. Maybe, I don't maybe understand Jeannie, it. Maybe Jeannie wants LeBron to be part owner of the Lakers instead of oh the Vegas franchise. Why would she give up any ownership stake to anyone? 